Good morning, all my fellow. Understanding, wide awake, observant, patriots. Now, I'd like to thank Tim Poole for this story. I was watching one of his videos, and he was talking about it. We'll get back to that a little bit later. Let's take a look at this headline. Transgender Women Slam Female Only Social Networking App Giggle for Using Facial Recognition Software that Excludes Them. But the CEO doubles down and insists that it's not a place for men claiming to be women. Sal Grover. Bravo indeed. Let's take a look at the bullet points for this article. Giggle is a female-only networking app created by Sal Grover in early 2020. Believe it or not, Tim Pool appears to have problems with that. Like I said, we'll get into that shortly. Let's take a look at the second bullet statement. The app's AI allegedly discriminates against trans women and women of color. You see, the AI looks at your face, I guess through the camera in your either cell phone or your computer, and it analyzes you to see if you're man or woman. And if you're a trans woman, which means a man who is at best, had the cosmetic surgery to make him look more like a woman, it says, eh. But it also says it allegedly discriminates against women of color. I'm sure they're talking about those petite little Mexican women. They're talking about those cute little women from China and Japan and Korea. They're talking about the exotic-looking women of India and Malaysia. They wouldn't dare be talking about black women. That's a no-no. Grover from Queensland said, App is for women only and trans women are men. Now, let's take a look where I found this story. Yeah, I was on BitChute. I'm a follower of Tim Pool, and he claims he's milk toast in his opinions, but he leans left, and he admits it at times. He's center left, let's say. I'm center right. There are things we both agree on. There are things we disagree on, but since we're basically in the center, there's more things we agree on then disagree on. But in this rant that Tim Pool has, he says he's not in favor of black or white only apps. He goes on to posit that what do you think of ladies' night at a bar? Well, I think they're great, and I'll tell you something. The owners of bars thinks they're great, too. They give discounted or free drinks to women, and they know that if they can entice women into their bars, their bars are going to be flooded with more men. It makes economic sense. Tim also brings up women's only gyms. Let's get on to that with our next two stories, shall we? Oh, and let's stay with the Daily Mail. Do you remember this story from only a few days ago? Women are now third-class citizens. UPenn swimmer speaks out against trans teammate Leah Thomas and says she wasn't even close to being competitive as a man after her latest wins. Yes, this man couldn't compete against his fellow men. He was a loser. So what does he do? Oh, I'm trans now, and he's breaking all kinds of 
women's records because men are generally bigger and stronger than women. We have larger muscles. That allows us to swim much faster and being much taller than his female competition. Once he gets going, those long arms, they really give him a huge advantage in the pool. But that's not the end of it. Let's go on now to my final story. Also from the Daily Mail. Exclusive. We're uncomfortable in our own locker room. Leah Thomas's UPenn teammate tells how the trans swimmer doesn't always cover up her, no, no, his male genitals. Come on, even a kid knows the difference. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, it says, this goes ignored by their coach. I do not think that transgender men should be allowed to compete against women. If they do, it's going to continue along these lines. Men are just better at sports than women. Do there are height, weight, genetic advantages over females? Now, let's end this by listening to what their kid has to say one more time. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs>